This is Samsung Galaxy A34 and in today's video I would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to start I would like to highlight how you can set up the fingerprint ID feature. So launch settings, then enter the security and privacy, expand the lock screen menu, tap at the fingerprints, continue, then uh, choose what backup method you would like to go uh, alongside the biometrical one. So I'll go with pattern. Next, you will need to set the whatever password you went for. And then we can start registering the fingerprint. So as you can see, the scanner is located underneath the display. So gradually lay your finger tap onto the scanner until the full and entire surface of your fingerprint will be correctly scanned. Okay, so for some reason it didn't let me proceed with the fingerprint. So let's redo the whole process again. So the fingerprint was successfully added. Now we can go ahead and test it out, see how well, fast and reliable it is. So it works just fine. And we are moving on to the second tip for today is how you can change the refresh rate value. So launch settings, enter display category and open the screen refresh page, whatever it is. Or well, in this case it is called motion smoothness. But that's basically a refresh rate value. So in here you can go for either 60 or 120 hertz and as you can see from the preview the high value of 120 will get you smoother and silkier animations and well overall motion experience uh, but if you would like to reduce or decrease the power consumption you might want to switch it to the standard value of 60 so decide what is more important i mean choose what is more important to you should it be motion smoothness or, or I mean increased motion smoothness or the reduced power consumption, battery consumption. And the following or next feature that I wanted to highlight today, you will be able to find at the lock screen category of settings. Uh, it is always on display, which you can activate by switching on this toggle. Then you can um, set the well, circumstances at which the AOD will be visible. You can make it so that you will need to tap the screen for it to reveal itself. You can make it be, you can make it be permanently visible, um, show itself within set schedule, or only once you receive new notifications. You can uh, change the clock style, or even set the custom image uh, from the gallery, sticker, AR emoji, theme, or bitmoji, I'll just, upload some picture I have in my gallery, like this one, let's say. Then you can change the color of the text. Do not forget to tap at the done to save the changes. Then you can turn on or turn off the show music information option. Uh, mod modify the AOD orientation from portrait to landscape and vice versa. Um, change the brightness of it, make it either adaptive or manually increase or decrease the AOD brightness. And well, that's about it. Let's see the result that we have. So here is my always on display design. The next feature uh, is how you can, well, first of all, it's more of an accessibility thing. So uh, if uh, I will swipe downwards from anywhere at the home screen right now, you see that the app drawer gets opened the same uh, happens once I do the opposite swipe, so from not rather from top to uh, bottom, the down to top swipe. Um, but I would assume that it would be more convenient to have this swipe reserved for the launch of notification panel instead of uh, app drawer, since uh, in order to, right now, in order to open it, open the notification and control panel, you'll have to drag your finger all the way to the top part of the screen and swipe it from here, which is, well, somewhat okay, but if you're using the phone with one hand, it will be, well, pretty impossible for you to reach, uh, reach the status bar and swipe, swipe it from there 
in order to open the control panel. So you can go into the home screen settings, switch on the swipe down for notification panel switch. And now even once you are using your phone with a single hand, you can do the following swipe and notification panel gets opened and the app drawer can be still launched through the opposite swipe as well. So it's the best from both words, worlds, allows you to uh, highly increase the one hand usage of this phone and overall just make it more convenient and intuitive. Already. And the fifth and final tip, this one is performance related. It's uh, basically a cool feature allowing you to drastically increase the system performance and overall just uh, make your phone lag uh, much less once you have all kinds of apps enabled and working simultaneously. So open settings, enter the battery and device care section, then tap at the memory, then open the RAM Plus page turn this feature on and reboot the device. So RAM Plus is basically the random access memory extension feature which works uh, in a way of allocating the a certain amount of uh, phone storage and using this amount of memory as the kind of virtual RAM. So basically it allows you to multitask more effectively and have um, a, lo a lot more apps opened simultaneously without them um, slowing your system down, which is also a nice feature to have. So uh, that would be it not only for the last tip, but for this video in general. We highly appreciate your attention, guys. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.